Hey, we're going to go over five things that you need to know before setting up your brand new HDTV or UHDTV this holiday season. Let's get into it. You just bought a brand new big screen flat panel TV. I don't care if you bought an LCD, an OLED, LED, backlit LCD. It doesn't matter because these five tips are universal and they're gonna help you out no matter what size TV you bought or what kind of TV you bought. So let's do it. Number one, number one most important thing that you can do to help yourself out and the performance of your TV is to mount it properly. And when I say mount it, that also means if you wanna set it on top of a table, let's just make sure that we try and get it at the proper height. And basically all you wanna do is kind of find the middle point of the television and make sure that that is at the same height as your eyes when you're seated in your favorite chair. But if you're on the lower third of the television, equal to where your eyes are where you're seated, that's also going to work for you. It's that simple. Whether you set it on a table or you mount it on a wall, that's kind of roughly the height of the display that you're gonna want for best performance. Number two, when you plug your TV in and hit power for the first time, some displays will ask you a question. Is this going in a home or a retail environment? Whatever you do, never, ever, ever, ever select retail environment. Always select home. Number three, most displays out of the box come in a standard or maybe even vivid or dynamic picture profile. And if your picture profile of the TV you just bought is set to standard, dynamic, vivid, game, anything like that, you're going to want to change it immediately. And immediately you're going to notice a marked improvement in your picture quality. No TV is calibrated out of the box. And what I mean by that is no TV is 100% picture accurate to the way the director or filmmakers intended out of the box. That's just not possible. And maybe I'll make another video about that in the future. But for now, let's just know that that is an impossibility. But a lot of picture profiles inside of televisions are closer to the ideal standard. Basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your TV's menus, uh, go to the picture profiles and just find a profile that is either cinema, movie, THX, ISF, or Technicolor. And honestly, those are all gonna get you probably 80 to 85% of the way to a properly calibrated image. Which ones are best varies from display to display, but I gotta tell you as a universal rule, if you select cinema, ISF, THX, movie, or Technicolor, you're well on your way. Number four is where things get a little bit more interesting. Um, a lot of displays nowadays like to advertise their dynamic contrast, or they like to advertise rich, deep blacks and really, really bright whites. Well, they're doing this in a number of different ways. Number one, they're doing it through backlighting, in which case you may notice that in a standard picture mode or a dynamic picture mode, your television's menu under the backlight setting may be at 70, 80, 90, or even 100%. But when you switch it into a cinema mode, that backlighting may step down to about 40, 50, 60%. Another way that they do it is through uh, what is known as dynamic contrast or dynamic backlighting or dynamic ambient light sensor, all of these things. Every TV kind of names it differently. And basically what that is, is it is adjusting the brightness in real time as you watch a film. The problem with this is, is as lighting conditions change or as the scene's lighting conditions change, you may notice your display get brighter and dimmer and then brighter and dimmer because the TV is trying to maximize the contrast, maximize the brightness in real time. It is my recommendation that you shut these things off or put them in their lowest setting because by default, they tend to be on medium to high. And in medium to high, it's noticeable. Whereas if you put it on off or low, I think you're gonna have a better experience. And if I were calibrating your TV as a professional calibrator, these are things that I would likely turn off. Finally, and this one isn't only coming from me, there's actually 
a very, very, very big effort underway by Hollywood and filmmakers alike to actually get this feature removed completely from televisions, and that is motion interpolation. What it is, is it's basically taking frames and artificially putting and in inserting frames where there aren't any in order to give you the smoothest possible picture. Now that may sound really, really good. That may sound like something you want, but in reality, what it comes off looking like is a really bad soap opera. And that is why it has been given the name, the soap opera effect. So just turn it off. So there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode.